and uh, in this video we are uh, going to be talking about this another uh, interview question uh, which is uh, based on array so basically the question goes uh, if uh, given two arrays write a function basically to compute their intersections so this once again uh, uh tests your knowledge of uh not only your uh like you know problem solving skills but also uh some understanding of what kind of collection uh data structure uh that you know so um just to give you a hint uh basically uh there are um a few collection uh that we have already seen uh arrays is basically one of the collection data structure um then you have dictionary that has a key value pair and it's uh, another uh, collection based uh, data structure and then you have sets um and all these have uh different uh properties so for example arrays uh when the items are inserted in the order they are received in the order they, are, they stay in that order and you get the benefit benefit of like you know fast uh, accessing those based on the index uh, dictionaries are basically something that uh, keeps your uh, key value pair it's a hash based uh, 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 collection so that means like you know for the key hash is computed and uh, the values are inserted uh, for those uh, indexes where the hash is computed so it goes into that hash uh, there's a bucket and uh, that bucket actually uh, sort of uh, uh, fills uh, with these values um, that it's receiving and uh, uh, the benefit is that that uh, inserting uh, retrieving uh, searching uh, and not searching except inserting and uh, retrieving all these are o of one and searching is fast too okay so um that's the dictionary and sets uh have a unique property where uh sets uh, is a collection uh that does not keep the order but keeps the unique value so if you want to find out like you know that if your array has if you think that your array has um duplicate values and you want to just get the unique uh, values out of it you just put that arrays values into the set and then you extract i mean uh, basically take those values out and what you're going to get is unique um unique values for the uh, uh set because set does not store any duplicate so that was hint that was rather a long hint because i wanted to explain you all the data structures and their differences um but uh with that thing in mind uh there are some some operations that you can do using set um so i'll i'll leave you like you know with that thought and um take a stab at it and uh, see if you can uh, come up with a solution uh, so i'll take a, a 10 second pause here so pause the video try it out come back see what we have uh waiting for you here as a solution so uh let's wait 10 seconds so you can pause the video and then come back All right, hope that was enough. Uh, that was enough of a pause that you were able to pause the video and uh, come back. So welcome back. Uh, hope you uh, gave it a try. Um, here is what um, what we came up with. Okay, so first of all, like you know, we're gonna uh, we're gonna look at some of the conditions and notes that each element in the result uh, must be unique. Okay, so that's actually one of the property that we were talking about uh, when I was hinting you about the set. That each result each value in the result uh, can be or has to be unique and the orders the results can be in any order so these two uh, uh these two hints actually give you an idea that this um can be solved with the set okay so let's take a look at potential solution um so if you um look at a solution the basic concept is basically uh, just that like you know create two sets that will store unique elements, right, uh, in the in those sets, and then use intersection. So uh, set comes with these functionalities called intersection, and uh, uh, basically intersection can extract the unique common elements out. Okay, intersection is basically uh, a rather easy operation, so uh, we can actually uh, we can actually. Uh, like leverage the fact that intersect is there so we can use that now this question 
basically says that if you know about sets or not so that's the that's the main intention for like you know interior asking this question is okay so uh once again like you know uh this is um uh, this was like you know another uh, different uh, sort of variation uh, of uh, of a question that 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 could be being asked to you. So uh, let's take a look at uh, its solution in in Repel. So we're gonna create a function um, intersect or like you know yeah enter maybe, and uh, we get like you know two arrays. So array one. And we get array two. All right, and what we return is an array of integers. Okay, that's our result. So first thing we do is uh, we create a uh, set set one, and uh, we say set of integer. And we initialize it and uh, we say num uh, for num in array or item in array item in array one we're gonna iterate over and we're gonna uh, insert them into the set okay and then we're gonna do the same thing for um, another uh, set two now you can easily extract this out in a function or I would actually encourage you to do it. Reason we are doing the expanded version so we can compute the time complexity. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, we can compute the time complexity and I can show you easily like, you know, how it's computed instead of like having it a function. So that's why um, we are keeping it an expanded version, but you can actually create a function out of it. Okay. So I don't there we go. Okay. So that would actually give us two sets. Uh, we can actually print them to see what they look like. All right. And we can simply say uh, that we need an array back uh, from set one dot enter. section of set two. Okay, that's what we need. All right. So if you were to um, print with our sample input, so we can say uh, enter, and then we have takes two arrays. So we say one, two, two, one, and two, and two. Okay, so this is the input. If you run it, we should get uh, basically two and one. We should get just two, but like, you know, it's just printing the sets. So, so as you can see, like, you know, our sets are, uh, have unique values. So we had like, you know, one, one, one appearing twice and two appearing twice, but set only stores like, you know, unique values. So it has two and one. And for the second one, it has two, two. So basically we are storing two. And uh, then uh, you basically have, um, you basically do the intersect and get the, get the number out, get basically the intersection out, okay? Now, as far as the time complexity goes, uh, this is gonna be n time, uh, but it's gonna be executed n time. This is gonna be executed m time. Okay. And um, and then uh, this particular function is uh, gonna be like, you know, n and m time as well, because it's executing like, you know, as many number of times and uh, set insert is O of one. So that's actually, um, Another thing, uh, and then intersect itself as uh, order of n. So 
um, basically it looks at each number and actually kind of like computes it. Now, how, how do I get to order of n? Because um, uh, there is a calculation that actually happens for intersection. And uh, the funny thing is next question, which is a little bit more complex on the intersection, finding the intersection of two arrays uh, has uh, that answer uh, waiting for you. So, um, we are going to see how we're gonna actually do the intersection. So we're gonna expand that intersection and build our own functionality. But uh, reason I wanna start with, start with this, I wanted to start with this one because this actually introduces you to the concept of set. And then next question actually shows you how certain functionality on the set actually is built. Okay, so we're gonna build that. So anyways, uh, continue forward. So we say, hey, we have like, you know, n plus n plus Two, so m plus 2n, um, which uh, leaves us with the time complexity of order of n, okay? So that's our solution, order of n, and time complexity, order of n, and solution for this intersection of two arrays, okay? So hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, now, in the upcoming video, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, intersection of two arrays, one more time, but with different sets of conditions that are given to us uh, in the question, and we're gonna see how we can handle those. So it's another variation that we're gonna see, okay? So I will see you guys in the next video, and thanks again for watching.